Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is AG Languages, and we want to welcome you to another edition of your pronunciation workshop. All right, are you ready? Let's start. And to do that, we need to answer this question. What's today's class about? The topic is hiding here behind this phonetic transcription. Uh, who can help me with the phonetic transcription? Okay, go ahead, Evelyn. Thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity. Is living home. There you go. That's exactly what it is. Living home. This is our topic, and it's going to help us focus on some vowels. Like, for example, this diphthong, O. This is uh, one of the vowels that we are going to consider in this pronunciation workshop. Okay. This is class number four. And the vowels we are going to consider are O, O, A, and vowel plus R. We're going to see this combination as well. So what are we going to see? As usual, we are going to see our vowel quadrilateral. It has, has some important information for us about the placement of our tongue in terms of uh, depth and height. We are going to read these sentences in order to use some words from them to analyze the vowel sounds for today's uh, workshop. We also have two questions. Maybe you already know because of the phonetic symbols what the questions are. We're going to decipher them in the workshop. And three statements. We'll see if you guys agree or disagree with them. Finally, to have some fun, we're going to have a tongue twister. All right. So, leaving home. Let's see. We're going to read these sentences out loud. Number one says, you will save money for the future. You won't have to do all the housework. Someone can cook for you when you aren't home. The familiar, cozy, safe feeling of being at home. And finally, the satisfaction of helping your parents. So what are the words from the sentences that we are going to use? Let me show you. Number one, future. Okay, we're using a schwa plus the R sound. Schwa, very relaxed. A uh, plus er, er, future. Take a look at this future. Then we have this uh, sound, which we make by rounding our lips. Er, housework, housework. Okay. This is different from one we're going to have in the future, this one here. Okay. I'll remind you later. Don't worry. Then we have the F sound plus O, oh, and then the R sound for or for then in the contraction for the negative statements with the verb to be we have aren't aren't okay a plus er aren't aren't you see the apostrophe here so we emphasize the first one the first syllable then in the word familiar er one more time er familiar for the possessive pronoun, you are er in the end. And then the one that I told you about. This one is not produced by rounding our lips. This one is not er, er. This one is e plus er, air. Er. Plus p, pair. Plus schwa, pair. Plus nts. Parents, okay? Air, er, air, er. There you go. So those are the vowels that we are going to analyze. And also we have the diphthong, o, o. A combination of two vowel sounds in words like won't, cozy, and home. So let's see, let's see the position that they have in the vowel quadrilateral. 
we have our diphthong, which is a uh, mid back vowel. Again, mid, they are talking about height, how high should our tongue be, and then how far back, right? Oh, it happens here in the back. Oh, so let me show you. Um, let me know if you can see this. Can you see this? Can you see this drawing? Okay. So this O happened here in the back, okay? Again, our vowel quadrilateral is supposed to be here. Let me see if I can do something um, interesting here. So we have that vowel quadrilateral here. And that O should be here. O. And the tongue should be at this level, low, all right? So this is what we have in the vowel quadrilateral. There you go. The position of our lips and our tongue. As you can tell for the word boat, we start with a B, a labial sound, B. Oh, and then we close our, our, we round and close our lips like this. Oh, boat, boat. One more time. Oh, oh, boat, all right? Just like in the picture. And then for oh, we position our mouth and our lips like this. Oh, bought, bought, bought. Ah, 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 pot, pot, pot. And then for the schwa, you know, very relaxed, uh, uh, Plus the R sound, er, her, her. Okay, there you go. Now let's join some sounds. We have poet, O, E. Do you remember this uh, vowel? It's not E. This one is lax, relax. E, E, Oe, Oe, Poet, Poet. And this one, I know it, oh, it, oh, it. I know it, I know it, all right? So it is a combination of sounds. It might be part of the same word or maybe a combination of words, okay? These combos are really useful. Where can we find these sounds? We can find these sounds in words with O-E, with a silent E, with O, with O-A, with O-W, like for example, joke explode, oh, focus, open, road, boat, grow, no. Other possible combinations, O-E, O-U-G-H, and E-W. Like, for example, Cho, Joe, Do, Aldo, and Su. Uh, other, other combinations for O. Oh. And this, this one is A-U. And it has to do a little bit with history. It comes from French, okay? Oh, this combination, pause, fault, law, dawn, fall, call, loss, strong. There you go. Other combinations, uh, O-U-G-H and O-A. Here, bought, thought, broad. All right. What about ah, the ah uh, vowel? Common combinations or maybe uh, letters that we are going to see, vowels that we're going to see when we are producing this sound in English spelling. O and A. Block. Or block. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, block. Fra, probably. Fa, father. Sta, start. Other possible combinations, U-A and O-W. Ah, uh, guard. Na, knowledge. Ah, uh, knowledge. For the schwa R combination, we have the E-R, I-R, and U-R. Her, serve, first, bird, heard, church. Other possible combinations as well. W-O-R plus consonant, like work, word. Maybe O-U-R-N-E-A-R. 
journey, earth, hearth, okay? All right. Symbols. There are different sets, as we mentioned before. Uh, the ones that you guys are using are the ones from Merriam-Webster. Uh, if you want uh, another set, you have the one from IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet. And we also have the one from Two Phonetics. If you want to take a look at the Pearson phonetic symbols, these are the ones from Pearson, okay? And I guess you're using more the Merriam-Webster uh, set of symbols. Okay, one more time. O, boat. O, bot. A, pot. Er, her. All right, with the her. There you go. Combinations, one more time. Owe, owe, poet, owe, I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it, poet, a poet, I know it. Mm -hmm. There you go. So if you want to have more information on these uh, topics and some others, you can contact us at aglanguages.com. You can join, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. You can leave your comments there and also follow us on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram, okay? You're gonna have access to our teachers from uh, Spanish speaking countries and English speaking countries. We work under the PTE general certification 